any time that our country's been in crisis, you find people step up in monumental ways. And I think kids are part of that. <laughs> Kids who need foster care are finding help is here, even in a pandemic, as some service agencies are reporting an increase in people who want to become foster parents. I think that they have time on their hands, and I think they realize maybe I can do something with my time. Heather Burt of Bethany Christian Services, a nonprofit with a 40 year foothold in the Delaware Valley, explains this COVID crisis has also made it easier to get involved. We're making it more accessible. So when you can bring trainings into the home, and families don't have to come out to an organization when you can bring support groups and when you can come alongside them and say you can do this, um, it makes it available to them. With being able to do everything via Zoom, it's amazing. Foster parent Adrian Cavanaugh from Montgomery County started the nonprofit Fostering Hope to support other families, especially the new ones. I think that whenever we have something kind of intense happening in our society, you really start to wonder how you can help others. You kind of appreciate what you have a little bit more. However, there's still a significant need. 4,299, that's how many children are in foster care in Philadelphia, according to Stacy Boyd with the city's Department of Human Services. She tells me while there's certainly an increase in interest, potential parents need to take the next step. So the next step, would be to um, fill out the application, go through the pre-screening process to make sure you meet the criteria, and then go through all of the trainings. Everybody can do something. What's your something going to be? So you may not feel like I can be a foster parent, but maybe you can provide a meal for a foster parent. To lighten their load in these heavy times. I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.